Hey everyone, welcome to my garden. I am going to be coming to you as the Enneagram gardener for the next six months. We'll be out here learning more and more about the Enneagram, going deeper and deeper with the Enneagram, and maybe I'll inspire you as, as a gardener yourself, or maybe you can live vicariously through this beautiful time of year. In the Enneagram of Essence world, we are devoting March to type eight, and I am very much using the energy of eight to get out here and get some really gritty work done in the garden. There will be many different phases of playing in this garden and it will be uncovered in a couple weeks and there will be so much beautiful diversity and color and nutrition coming through as we move all the way around the circle of the Enneagram. I wanna talk about what the type eight feels like somatically, experientially, subjectively. What does the energetic of type eight, both in its personality, fixation or contraction feel like? How does that animate our whole being? And what does the essence of type eight feel like? And how does that animate our whole being? And how might we want to call upon the essence of type eight in our worlds? as a way to heal the personality traits and as a way to make our life more full, more rich, more colorful, and experience ourselves with more empowerment, strength, and inner justice. So I'm gonna read from my book on my chapter on type eight. So type eight is in our guts. It's in the gut center, there's three types in each of our three centers, which make the nine types. Type eight is in the gut, and it is the outward facing or outward orienting or outward flowing gut type. So the essence of our gut is power. The primary emotion is anger. And eight is pushing that energy out into the world, projecting it out into the world, or orienting it out toward the world. And what does that feel like? What is that actually like in your being? And I invite you, especially if you're not a primary type eight, learn about type eight from an inner experience with it. Imagine that type eight is an actual part of your own wholeness, because it is. Especially if you're not a gut center type, Maybe you're a heart center primary type or a head center primary type. Do you have a gut? Do you have instincts and intuition? Do you have impulses? Do you have an area below your belly button? Do you have hips and a backbone and a tailbone? Do you have power? Do you have anger? This is our gut center. This is how we actually have all of the types. So get to know your own type eight. And let me guide you through this experience of learning the energy of eight now. Compared to the other gut types, the inward depth of type one or the centered balancing act of type nine, your type eight orientation turns outward, projecting your innate strength and protective energy to those around you. You actively seek opportunities to engage with assertiveness, champion justice, and foster empowerment, boldly standing up for the underdog, ensuring they are protected. In stress, in personality fixation, personality contraction, when you are feeling this challenging energy about you, this is what it looks like and feels like energetically in your own body. On the outside, people feel your formidable strength, like a protective wall. People often only see this commanding exterior, unaware of the intricate undercurrents of vulnerability and tenderness swirling inside of you. Internally, your gut is like a finely tuned instrument, constantly alert to the subtleties in your environment. It's as if every nerve is hyper aware helping you swiftly distinguish between allies and adversaries. This heightened sensitivity in your gut is your radar, guiding your interactions and decisions. Feel this with me now, as if you were orienting out towards the world, as if your own face, 
the primary instrument of how you perceive life and receive information about life is in your gut, below your belly button. Right now I feel like the lower belly, below my belly button is very alive and aware, like attuned to the world, facing the world, and even there's an energy moving out toward the world. Even when you seem relaxed, there's a palpable tension in your body, all over your body. Your muscles, especially around your shoulders and jaw, are often taut, ready for action, which could be words. The type eight in some of us, even when it's the primary, might almost always be challenging life through their words. Some type eights could be challenging life through their physical force of their body, using their body in that way, like a martial arts or someone in the military or someone that is out in the world physically fighting, but sometimes it's more through our words. This physical readiness is a manifestation of your energetic preparedness to face challenges head on. Deep within, beneath the layers of resilience and assertiveness lies a seldom seen tenderness, a genuine nurturance and vulnerability that you guard fiercely. This hidden aspect of your being holds the key to a more balanced and fulfilled existence where strength and softness coexist as one. That was with the fixation or the contraction. But with essence, what does the type 8 feel like energetically in our being with embodied power, true power? When survival mode recedes, you embody a deep centered power. Internally, you feel an expansive warmth. Your gut, once constantly vigilant, now rests in calm receptiveness. The warmth in your chest expands, creating connection through vulnerability. The tension in your shoulders and jaw eases, giving way to a relaxed confidence. This grounded power brings forth a sense of true justice and potential with a touch of innate innocence. It's a presence that inspires others, inviting authentic collaboration and shared joy, demonstrating how true strength is both powerful and gentle. Relish this empowering sensation as we move into our final section and get to know the mature type eight. If you want to know more about the mature type eight, order the book. And a little bit more about this embodied type eight essence. You can feel it in people with the primary type eight. In the energetic embodiment tradition, I teach my students how to energetically take on and embody like a method actor, the somatic feeling and experience and animation of each type. And we can kind of exaggerate that when we're trying on the type eight personality as a fixation. And it might be kind of exaggerated and you might make your body bigger and you might make your voice stronger and louder. But when you're really playing with and feeling the essence of the type eight. It is this kind of relaxed power. I think often of a lion or a lioness when it's just lying there, maybe taking in the environment in the sun. It might be yawning in this big, massive way, but there is this quiet power that you can feel sort of radiating off of it. So that is our type eight embodied and what the type eight feels like from my book. And I want to celebrate the type eight now without my words, because type eight is a gut type. It's an action oriented type. What might it be like for me to meditate in this way on the essence of type eight and get out here in my garden and do some real type eight kind of work, really embodying and showing the type eight in this way. Thank you.